Come on over, it's well, time for Tim Friend. Hey, welcome back to Tim Friend. We're back on the horse with Fire Emblem 7X. Uh, we finally get to go back to Uther, the people we like, the people we trust, the people who we've gotten good level ups from. Uh, who, who, who do we got in this party of young scallywags? Uh, looks like we using Tony and Sybil? I don't remember that shit. But we've only had a few fucking levels with these dudes, so that's that should be fine. Uh, yes. Okay. We are ready to go. Start chapter. Eh. Whilst reconnoitering the Etrurian encampment, Uther and his companions stumble upon one of the Etrurian's own scouting teams and cross blades with one of the deadliest women on the continent. For his trials, he gained information valuable to the Knights League and a terrifying vision of the future. The Adrurian force was far larger than the brigade or so they had assumed. Rather, a very large portion of the Empire's standing army had been organized there, and more troops trickled in even as Uther attempted to estimate their number. So even after killing those scouts, uh, led by Edelweiss, uh, it looks like, uh, Trurian Empire is gearing up for a big old full-scale war. That's pretty cool. His thoughts were dark as he sent his messenger, even as Madeline laughed and teased their new teammates. Lysia had not seen war for generations, and he knew well that it was poorly prepared for such a thing. Great. Welcome to Cutscene O'Clock. Yeah. Look, I get that he's the head of state and all, but I've been riding for days. I got better things to do than bloody wait around on his pleasure. Don't, don't question why a guy with my accent will use the word bloody. It's, it's fine. Like what? Gotta get my affairs in order, don't I? It's about time I left the country and the same goes for you. I'm not gonna read this dialogue out loud because it's, it's too profane. What do you mean by that? Just take my word for it. There's a storm a coming. You can either get out the way or get right with the gods. Send him in. <laughs> Come. It's time. And none too bloody soon. I'm gonna have to make up a lot of fucking voices if I'm remembering correctly. The messenger, my liege, is, is a very, a very sensual knight. Very well. If I'm quick about it, this should only hurt for a moment. It's an honor, your gloriousness. May I approach? Please do. Is Radiance expecting bad news? My liege, if I might be so bold. Did you read the letter? What? That's preposterous. The seal is dark and withered. You've retouched it to conceal your treachery, but the damage is already done. We knew that someone was selling our secrets away, but to be so brazen, you were asking to be caught in your hosiery. I... Let it be, Sir Carlton. We have matters of greater importance to attend to. Of course, sire. Captain Thor? Sir? Take him to the Master of Intelligence. Perhaps he can tell us who his customers were. I will, but thank you for this opportunity, sir. <laughs> I wish I could take off my helm so quickly. Are things truly so dark, your eminence? I'm afraid so, old friend. It seems I must call a meeting of the League. Sir Elric! I'm another knight. Ready and able, my liege. All the knights of Lycia sound like this. Send for my scribe, please. At once, sire. You can see why, why he keeps them around. I have the feeling this summit will be less of a council and more of a trial. I must gather my allies. I must send word to Lord Uther as well. Your eminence, might I perform this task? I worry for his well-being. It would be good to see him. Lord Uther is one of my most able men, Sir Carlton. I need you here, by my side. Of course, my liege, but... Forgive me, sire, but are you not afraid for him? Indeed I am, but no more than I am for us all. Oh, damn. That's Hec... That's... Uh, Hector's... It's Uther's... D Dad, uh, it, it, he's as Uther said in the past. They're not, uh, they're not super um, familial around each other because they're heads of state. Miss Tony, if you don't mind my asking, where are you from? I don't remember 
any of these fucking voices because not only was it s multiple sessions ago I like oh my god it's it's been months since I did any of these voices so if it's jarring to you I'm sorry I, I have no great excuse Miss Tony if you don't mind my asking where are you from it has frustrated me for some time now it feels intrusive to ask but I too am curious not at all I'll take any given opportunity to be the center of attention I'm not going to read that line. My pappy was a farmer up Arifin Way. Store goes one night a Kutola Huntress turns up in his barn, leading out into his hay. The tribe was passing by the area, and she got on the wrong side of a militia. Oh, wrong side of a militia, man. That's difficult to do. Arifin's right on the Sassay border, so trouble with Plains folks pretty common over there. Indeed, you often hear of the nomads mistaking livestock for wild prey or picking an orchard clean. The locals are always swift to retaliate. And just as often, Lycian workers will disturb a holy site, or dam up a river that the tribe's folk depend on. We don't need a demonstration, boys. Whoever's at fault, the cultures often clash, and there's little love between them. My pappy, though, instead of calling the sheriff, he patches her up and watches over her till she mends. They grew close in that time, but she had to return to her tribe before they moved on. A year or so later, they passed by again, so I turns up on his door. He ain't had a moment's rest till the day I left. Oh. He grew to love her despite their differences. I can see the appeal. Sir Marcus, you stallion! I didn't know you had it in you. I am a man under all this steel, my lady. A full-colored plainswoman in the right dress gets my attention as much as the next man's. What do you mean full-colored, my dude? <laughs> oh, but I approve. There's something about the combination of silky green hair and that wild, rugged look that's all so exciting. I'll learn to take a compliment. Do all Sasans have green hair? That's interesting. I had not considered that. There's there's, there's a Sue and, and Shin and uh, his rat's hair green? I do not remember. There it is again. What do you fellows make of it? Two riders from the west alone. Perhaps an envoy from the Aturian army. Whoever it is, I wager it's more bad news. That's not his voice. I already remember that that's not his voice. They're riding pretty hard. Should I get the others? Just in case. Oh, man. I do love this mission. This mission was the one that made me go, Oh! This game has good level design. Good tidings, sirs. It is our privilege to stand before you on behalf of Countess Isolde Spencer of Lothian, Mage General of the Divine Throne of Aturia, etc., etc. May we speak with your commander? You already are. Oh, Magnus, it's him. The man from Ferre. Hello again, my hero. Well, would you look at that? The gods themselves could not keep us apart, it seems. You're making me blush, sir. My lord, is now really the time for fraternization. As a matter of fact, this is the most appropriate circumstance I've ever had for it. But we're being rude. This is Sir Eagler, and you may call me Uther. In fact, you may call me whatever you desire. Ugh. Oh, hush. My name is Eerie, and this is Magnus. Perhaps you would show us to your tent? I share everything with my companions, dear Eerie. Maybe after business is done. Magnus is welcome if he likes. Damn, Uther. Get it. Very well. Lady is old. Lord Uther, we've got company. Ah, oh, sod it all. The heavens and earth may not be able to separate us, but Sir Mark has done a pretty good job so far. We'll be with you shortly. Ah, oh, old calls him Mark. That's not his name. That's the name of the tactician from Fire Emblem Blazing Zords. Seems to be an advanced force hire here to secure the crossing. Mixed infantry supported by cavalry. And it looks like they've got ballistae. The plural of ballista. Shit. We haven't the men for this. Will Hussar help us? He said he'd do it gratis. Guess we can counter lucky stars, huh? I don't think we can rely on luck for this. If those men had to cross into Austria now, there will be no quieting the League's fury. It'll be all out war. We'll need to meet them at the pass. It's not exactly a fortified position, but should serve as an adequate chokehold. With me, gentlemen. It doesn't seem so bad. It's only like six. Okay, it's like 12 dudes. Oh, there's a paladin. And a monk. That's not so bad. Well met, sir. And you. I assume you are the one to thank for the hole in our security a few nights ago? My humblest apologies. We're sorry. Uther, that woman. Lady. You had no problem telling that dusky woman your name. 
that was different. She was a nobody, not a knighted commander. A nobody with huge... <clears throat> Uther, as in Prince Uther of Austria. That is most unfortunate. I would rather that we continue our discussion, my lord, but I'm afraid my priorities are in disorder these days. I am charged by my superiors with securing this border, and should I take you hostage, your father would be helpless to resist us. I'm sure you understand. In another life, then. Or perhaps, if we're both very lucky, on another day. I'd like that. I didn't catch your name, sir. Sir Horace of Grayski. I'll see you afield. Count on it. So this is this is a defend chapter. Oh my gosh, I sorry, I thought that was all the dialogue. Our priority should be holding this pass. If we can turn aside their assault, they will be forced to retreat and regroup. If we smash their commander though, they'll scatter. Be wise not to extend ourselves too far, lest some of them slip by. They will likely have reinforcements as well. Even if we drive their main force back, we may just be exposing the border to their backup teams. It is, of course, your decision. Mm. That's right it is, Eagler. This is the first time we get to pick our units, but they give us... We don't we don't have any extras, so we're gonna, we gonna pick all of them. Listen to this... This bright and cheerful music. Oh my goodness. I haven't heard it before, I don't think, on this playthrough. You guys have definitely heard it, because last time I fucked up the goddamn audio. But I'm looking... I'm looking at the thing. It says it's capturing the game audio. Okay. I'm gonna do some trading. Next time on Timfriend, we'll actually start the mission that... The mission that convinced me... That made me, like, sit back and realize, Oh. This is a good game. Alright. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Wah 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 w